Hi! While it certainly is a challenge to find kitchen appliances that are worthy of your hard-earned money, it isn't impossible, especially when you have a reliable source to point you in the direction of the brands you can trust. Let this channel be that source. In preparing this video countdown of the top models, the team researched literally dozens of tools, ranking each one based on its performance, its affordability, and the reliability of its manufacturer, and also read real-life consumers' opinions about each product. Let's see which are the best models in this year. Hi, I'm Dylan from Thermapro, and I'm going to give you a brief introduction on the TP07. I'm now going to explain how to assemble and sync your device. First, put the batteries into the smaller unit, the transmitter, and it will power on automatically. Then put the backing on the batteries, and let the device power up. Then you are going to put the batteries into the receiver, the larger device. Put the backing on. The devices will then begin to sync automatically. And then you can place the probe into the device. And it will begin to transmit the temperature to the receiver. Now that you've assembled your device, we're going to show you how to use it in a typical grill setting. Grab your meat probe, place the probe into the thickest part of the meat, avoiding any bone or fat deposits, and then it is safe to close the grill onto the wire.
I'm Dylan from Thermapro, and this is the introduction for the TP20. I'm now going to show you how to sync and assemble your TP20. First, put the batteries into the smaller device, the transmitter, and put the backing on. After this, put the batteries into the larger device, the receiver. The devices should pair automatically. When this is complete, put the probes into their sockets and the transmitter will start sending the temperature to the receiver. I'm now going to show you how to use the TP20 in a typical oven setting. You're going to insert your meat probe into the meat. Today we are using a second meat probe as an oven probe with the clip, but you can also just use this other probe for another piece of meat if you'd like. I'm now going to demonstrate the functions of the TP20. Press the power button to start. Use the mode button to switch through probe 1, probe 2, and the timer. <clears throat> to start a count up timer, simply press the start button and the timer will start to count up. To stop this timer, press start and slash stop button again. To start a countdown timer, use the arrow to change the minutes. and then the seconds and press start to start the timer. You can stop it and hold clear to get back to zero. Use the light button to turn on the light and turn it off or press and hold this button to change from Fahrenheit to Celsius or back to Fahrenheit. If you use the mode button, you can go back to your probe settings, which have presets already set for certain types of meat. To change these presets, press the meat button. We have veal, chicken, pork, poultry, lamb, fish. The oven, which will idly measure your, the internal temperature of your oven with the probe or your program where you set your own setting. There's ground beef, ground poultry, beef, and then back to veal. You can also set the taste. So if I go to beef, I can press the taste button and switch from medium to medium well to well done. You can then just turn off the device when you're finished. And those are the functions of the TP20. I'm now going to demonstrate the TP20 and its alarm function. Right now we have probe 1 set to 80 degrees and once it goes past 80 the alarm will sound letting us know it's finished. You can press the stop button to stop the alarm. I'm now going to demonstrate the TP20's countdown alarm function. Right now it's set at 10 seconds counting down. Once it gets to zero the alarm will sound. Press stop to stop the alarm, and you're done.